Hey everybody, this is Dr. Kevin McGovern with my broadcast partner Mike Frary from the Prove It Live podcast and this is another one of our instructional videos. We're going to talk about the three basic moves of pitching. Okay. So Mike, for years we've, we've been told or we've heard that pitching is an unnatural move. It's yeah. not natural. Yeah. Well, I'm going to disagree with all of that. I agree with that too. <laughs> so, Really, we have to master three moves when we talk about pitching. And really, the three moves we have to master for any sport. And that is scap, so we'll turn around here when we face the camera. Scapular depression, right? The opposite of shrugging. Squatting, you feel a little squat, and walking. Now, what does that mean? Well, if we get you here on the mound, right, so let's get you, we want to be up nice and tall. Now, when we talk about scapular depression, a lot of what has been taught is to take, show, take the ball out of the glove in a pronated position, <clears throat> which is, as you take it out, your hand is down. Now, can you throw the ball from here? Are you sure? Pretty sure. I'll throw it that way. That way? Yeah. Right, but we gotta go this way. Right. Okay. So, eventually, we have to get our hand into supination, right, carry soup, okay, to throw the ball. So, my point is, why don't we just start in supination, right? So we talk about pronation. So if Mike takes, let's take your glove off for a second, Mike. I'm gonna, and I'll hold this. Put right down there. All right. So just put your arms out and be in pronation, okay? And then I want you to turn your hands over and be in supination. And you'll see, if you can see, it's very subtle. And I'll keep doing it over and over again. But you're going to see his shoulders shrug when he's in pronation. Pronation promotes upper trap engagement. Upper trap engagement is a death sentence for pitching and shoulders, okay? So, as he picks up the glove, I would love for the hand to be in supination, which is automatically going to uh, promote scapular depression, okay? So, the next move is essentially a one-legged squat. Mike's gonna bring his leg up as he sinks down in this leg. So, if we Photoshop his right leg out, his left leg is in the squat, and his right leg's in a mini squat. Okay, that's just the way it is. And as he comes out, plants his leg out in front of him. As he does that, his next move is he's just gonna walk. He's gonna turn his trunk and finish. And his leg is going to come with him. And that's it. It's scapular depression, squatting and walking. So many times, Mike, I've seen, I don't understand, is this. My, my leg is, anchored to the rubber, or some people will even teach drag, and to me, that's like tying a boat to the dock. What do you think? Yeah, right? I mean, I don't, and it inhibits my movement. Right. Well, and it's interesting because those same people will tell you that, hey, you want all of your energy going in that direction. Right? But, Which is true. But anchor your left. Right. right, right. <laughs> but you don't want to leave something dragging behind. That's right. What, that's what and to me, if you, well, if you marry your arm and your leg, you're going to essentially it's just like walking, and you will be closer to the natural neurological system or, or sequence of movement of the body and that we're throwing downhill, which is with gravity. gravity. If we start to accelerate against gravity, which is why I'm such not a long toss proponent because of that, if we you know, released it here, different, but you'll see most people doing long toss if they're yeah. throwing it from here. If you accelerate your arm against gravity, you're going to get hurt. It's just a matter of when. So, master the squat, master walking, master scapular depression. Those are the three basic movements of pitching, and it is that simple. And pronation. And pronation. Thanks for listening. Uh, again, Prove It Live podcast. Subscribe to our channel, and you can email questions at info at